<laughs> One thing. Hey, that is so bad. <laughs> Howdy, ladies. <laughs> Hey friends, today we're in Grafton, Illinois at the Bloody Bucket. I'm Nick. And I'm Zach. And this is Raising a Glass with, with Nick and, and Zach. Zach. Let's go inside. Not good. I got a lot of opinions. Just about stuff. Grafton, Illinois, beautiful river town. I'm sitting there looking at the mighty Mississippi as we speak. So many cool things to do, and the Bloody Bucket's just one of them. Absolutely. There's so much going on. You, you got the, the wineries up on the hill. You got the loading dock down low. So many great shops and other bars around. I mean, folks come, during the summer especially, folks come from miles around just to experience uh, the Grafton area. What, mm. What's like a staple cocktail at, at the Bloody Bucket? We're at the Bloody Bucket, so you need a Bloody Mary for sure. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that to you. I'm in. Okay. <laughs> so let's have one. How to think about it? I've never had a Bloody Mary. Never? I've never had and you just hung it up on me? Juice. I do like tomato juice. Okay, too. so you'll like it. But it's just like the conglomerate of everything. I know. It's but me off. The tomato so juice is what is the staple. Okay. So if you like that, you'll be good. What? Well, give it Man. <laughs> uh, Man, I'm the, I'm the model of health and fitness. Drinking that, I just feel good. Tom, no problem. It's just, just tomato juice is what's making me. Oh, celery. Mm. I've heard that you burn more calories chewing celery than it provides, like it's negative yeah, calories. I don't know how that works. Numbers don't really check out. What are you at? This is a, a bourbon slushy. Nice. So are you a cherry guy? Yeah. Are you not a cherry guy? Uh, this to you or what? Didn't go with the... Hey, Brandon. <laughs> when you get bombed, don't bring it. I don't want you to you did. Did. Oh, I touched your mustache. <laughs> Zach, tell, how is that Bloody Mary, man? A Bloody Mary at the Bloody Bucket. It's got to be good. It's uh, it's really on brand. It feels good going down. I just spit everywhere. Uh, yeah, really on brand for the locations. Uh, I mean, you can't go wrong with a Bloody Mary anywhere. I don't think, unless they just straight up don't mix their mind. And our guy Brandon, yeah, our guy Brandon has mixed it up right. They throw some everything bagel seasoning around the rim. I'm for it. Got some celery, some olives, lemon, and lime. They don't get lazy here. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. And your slushy. Yeah. Do, do tell. I was a little hesitant at first, but there's literally a sign on the middle of the bar that says Mom's Bourbon Slush. I was like, okay, if it's on the sign, it's got to be good. And it didn't disappoint. Um, really refreshing. I could see myself like on a hot summer day, you know, chilling with one of these. You don't really think of bourbon and refreshing, so it's kind of a cool combination there. Uh, but it's uh, benchmark bourbon, I think they said, uh, sweet tea and all frozen sweet and, tea I, I think right oh, Brandon? A, sweet tea is right yep. so wait sweet. so is it, did you pour the bourbon on or is it frozen yeah, in there the bourbon and the sweet tea are already uh put together and then frozen really brandon's hooking us up today that's solid man you want to trade these for a little sip i'll do that <laughs> Are you a straw guy or are you a... You I'm, wanna, I'm a rim guy. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get the, you gotta get the everything well, you have to use the straw that I do? Guy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know. All right, here we go. Big one. Hello. Dude. Yeah. That's electric. <laughs> Big fan of that. Yeah. Man. So you can, like, Bloody Marys you can drink in the morning, right? Is that for what? sure. Okay. For sure. I, I can probably get, like, a brunch yeah. with, with a plate of eggs. Yeah. Now, no, you hit, you hit one of these, like, on a golf course. A golf course, like, in the morning, that's a great time for Bloody Mary. Um, yeah, or any time, like, you're nursing the hangover, but you still got to go. Yeah. Bloody Mary. Yeah. Zach, how about the how about the five in here? I mean, this is kind of off the charts. Yeah. They're definitely doing like a throwback thing here. Yeah. I think there's a lot of uh, nodding to, to history. I know that Grafton has a kind of a cool history in relationship to Alton and St. Louis, and so a lot of cool decor, a lot of um, Civil War. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, old school, like very saloony. It's not so right. much like 
clean, polished bar. And for some reason, the word brassy is coming to mind. I don't know if I'm seeing a whole lot of brass, but like, you know what I'm talking about. It's like warm, and he has some, yeah, some shiny metal, just the dark woods. All feels really good. But yeah, got this big tingle in front here, big old bar. The Bloody Bucket is a bit of a newer establishment in Grafton, Illinois. It's actually kind of in the same family as the loading dock just down on the river. Really cool uh, concept that they've really executed well here, I feel. Um, the name comes from a dude named C.B. Eaton, who was in Grafton running around kind of the Civil War era of time um, and started a establishment called The River House. At the River House, there was, uh, they were pretty notorious for gambling, drinking, uh, women, murder, things like that. And so uh, you can kind of get that outlaw feeling here. It's really, really cool. For sure. Yeah. Wait, hold on. So this place is not the original location, or is it? No, it is not. It's, not. it's just kind of a nod. But, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's getting after that. So yeah, that River House place was like a super violent place. Like, right. So it was nicknamed back then. The bloody buck bloody right? bucket, just because of all the violence. Okay, I thought that for sure this was the same thing. Sorry, this is an aside. I'm, just, uh, I'm learning the history as we're. No, they they kind of wanted the, they, they you know they say the namesake came from that era that gotcha. story. There's a really cool plaque on the wall there that we can go read in a minute. Um, but Grafton in and of itself is such a, a quirky and cool town. Yeah. It's this little river town about 20 miles north of Alton, right on the river. It's kind of cool because two of the most powerful rivers meet right right here. This is where we all come together. So this is a good spot. A good old fashioned. Nothing like it. Yes. A good litmus test for a, a whiskey bar. The Bloody Bucket in particular has a, a really, like, uh, it's not overly massive but like a really nice selection of bourbon and whiskey like i'm looking at a couple bottles down there that um you know i would love to have in my collection so it's nice to be able to come to a spot and try things out and you know not to shell for a whole bottle but what's um, in here <laughs> which one of these fine collectors I oh <laughs> i think this is jack Daniel. oh is it <laughs> hey i have a special something that I know a signature here at the Bloody Bucket that I think wouldn't be complete unless you had one. Brandon, can I get one of those? Oh, buddy. This is special, <laughs> just, just for you watching this here today. You're gonna get a good one? One yeah. for a good shape? Oh, oh, buddy. Put that on. Saddle up, cowboy. <laughs> I got a big head, so this is probably gonna sit on top. Oh, that ain't, that ain't so bad. <laughs> it looks like a fedora on <laughs> Zach and I have an ongoing competition of darts at each establishment we go to. So I will continue it's not strong. Going, it's not going great. Strong tra tradition of winning. Oh, not great. The hat off, you might play better. Oh no, the, the hat gives me power. Okay, well, we're at least on the board and we're in the toilets. There we go, that's where we want to be. Destination Oh. Ooh. How do I never notice how monstrous this painting is? <laughs> I think, is that, is that life size? That woman's five foot five. 117, here we go. <laughs> three for three, Nicholas Bufano, let's go. All right, welcome back to your favorite segment ever. How fast can Zach lose five dollars? Well, around here, it really isn't that hard. Oh, stupid! <laughs> I'm tearing a hole in this damn dollar. This is not good. This is not good. We gotta be a little bit more deliberate. We gotta be a little bit more deliberate. This is not going great. Yeah, we might have to call this. Go. Bye. Give me a cowboy hat, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> On the double. Oh, thank God. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all, that was an excellent time at the Bloody Bucket in Grafton, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Incredible atmosphere, great drinks, popcorn, and Zach once again lost in darts. 
I knew you were going to bring it up. <laughs> and I, it feels still so good to say that. He's 0 for 3 so far, folks. Uh, but great. but honestly, guys, great time here. Yeah. Zach, give us some highlights. It's a great bar. Definitely captures the old school saloon, post-Civil War, and just the, the history of violence um, of this place that got its namesake, the Bloody Bucket, is awesome. Um, and it's just, yeah, a good place to go in and have a good whiskey drink and just kind of feel like you're back in the past a little bit. So if I was going to build a bar, it'd probably be the Bloody Bucket in Grafton. Yeah. As you're coming up the River Road, stop it in Grafton, Illinois. Make sure the Bloody Bucket is on your list. Yeah. We'll see you next time. I'm Nick. And I'm Zach. And this is Raising a Glass with Nick. Nick, Nick and Zach. And Zach. See you next time.